It was a last minute reprieve for a dog on death row as people across the province came together. Their support reversing a town council decision to euthanize the dog. Brittany Moore got a registered letter in the mail last night from the Winnipeg Beach CAO saying her dog was to be put down the next morning. It cited two biting incidents. Both were on the feet of people who were passing by on their bikes. One was a young girl who suffered minor injuries and mental trauma. The other was on a woman who had puncture wounds. Moore takes the blame for allowing her dog to break free of his collar twice and doesn't think two-year-old Axel should pay with his life for her mistake. She credits Axel with helping her get through her drug and alcohol addiction. Moore says Axel also supported her eight-year-old daughter after her father died and was her last remaining tie to him. He just sleeps with me every night. He's my companion. When I feel low or maybe even triggered, I can go take my dog for a run at the beach. He's just somebody that loves me unconditionally. He loves my daughter unconditionally without passing judgment. I feel a lot of people in recovery benefit from having their dogs as their companions. After a desperate plea on Facebook, Manitobans rallied behind her, phoning and emailing counsel. So they decided to give her 10 days to rehome Axel. It's strangers, it's people I've never met, it's overwhelming. Like I, At this moment, I'm overwhelmed with all of the support from people in my town, even the mayor and council that changed their minds. Like, it's overwhelming how many people actually care. So I'm pretty grateful for that right now. But Winnipeg Beach Mayor Tony Pimentel says some people went too far, swearing and yelling at them for a decision they didn't take lightly. The worst thing that we have to do is sit there and think about scenarios like if the dog was chasing a little kid, if the kid was to run out onto the highway and was hit by a car, even though the dog bite didn't injure or the dog didn't technically hurt the dog, hurt the person, but if somebody was killed because of that, how would everybody else feel? Now, all these people that are, are um, sending e emails saying that we're horrible people and that, how would they feel if that type of situation occurred to their family member? I know how I would feel. And who would they look at? Again, it would, they would look at counsel, and you know what they were saying? They would say, they would say well, you, this is the third time this dog did that. How come you guys didn't do anything? Pimentel says the dog's breed, a pit bull, had nothing to do with their decision. He says he wishes people would have considered the other side of the story before becoming enraged. When asked why they didn't request rehoming in the first place, he says he didn't want to move the problematic behavior to another district. As for more, she wants Axel to find a new home where he is well cared for and she and her daughter can come visit. In Winnipeg, Stephanie LeSuc, City News.